My all-time favorite quote with dealing with kind of an understanding intuition is from Dr. Wayne Dyer. He said, prayer is when we speak to God, intuition is when God speaks back to us. I love that quote. It's so simple and yet it's so profound. Our intuition serves as a communication channel to and with the mind of God. We've all been made aware of an idea or a feeling that seemingly comes out of the blue and gives us insights into what our next step in our lives should be. It's really in sight. So we have all experienced a time in our life where maybe we've been thinking about a friend or a loved one and they call or text or email us at that exact moment. Or maybe we were thinking of someone and you know we bump into them at the grocery store and or, or, or their name comes up in conversation and we just kind of laugh it off as coincidence. There are no coincidences. There are an expression of exact law and are being expressed through the faculty of our intuition. Just as we have the capacity to broadcast out to the universe the vibration of our thought energy, we also have a receiver part that receives the frequency of energy that are in harmony with our dominating vibration. I think we've all experienced when we've had one of these intuitive moments or nudges in the form of thought, ideas, or feelings, and we act contrary to the message we've received. I do a little vignette when teaching on intuition where I tell the audience that, you know, I used to go and pray to God for a sign, to open a door for me or to give me an idea to help me. And, and later that same week, I'd be driving down the rope and boop, you know, an idea would pop right into my awareness. And the first thing I would do is I kind of turn my head towards heaven and say, are you, are you sure? <laughs> are, are you sure? The new idea, the nudge, this, this is not from the same source that's created our current model of our conditions or circumstances. Our current model, our, our patterns, our conditions and circumstances have been created through the filter of our own self-judgment, our own fear, our own doubts, our own current level of faith or lack of faith. When we become aware of an intuitive nudge, we should never ask if this is a good idea or a bad idea. We should never ask if this is the right idea or wrong idea. We need to act. We should be asking ourselves this. If I act on this idea, does it have the potential to move me in the direction of my dream? And if it does, boom, we should act immediately, obediently, 